Welcome back to the Tacoma Holic channel, everybody. Much like the PBS channel, this bumper mod was made possible entirely by viewers just like you. Specifically, if you have purchased anything from the Tacoma Holic shop, I used funds directly from all those purchases to buy this bumper. So again, special thank you, huge thank you to anyone who has already purchased something from the Tacoma Holic shop. Now let's get to the mod. All right, everybody, this is the Brute Force Fab Hybrid Bumper for the second gen Tacomas, of course. I will put a link in the video description down below so you can check out not only this bumper, but Brute Force Fab makes rear bumpers, sliders, bed cages, you name it, all super high quality. I had a great chat with Billy, who's the owner of Brute Force Fab, on the phone talking about what I wanted with the bumper, and he stuck to the lead time perfectly. I actually ordered this got it on a little black friday sale back in november of 2018 and i have had it for a few weeks now and billy was spot on with the lead time so i know some of you in ordering this stuff the lead time sort of drives us crazy which that can be pretty much unavoidable most of the time but billy stuck to the lead time perfectly so thank you so much for that it did take me a while once i received it to get it installed because i did all the painting myself and just in case you guys are interested in painting some of your exterior armor, I'll put links to the specific products I used below. But just like with my sliders, rear bumper, all that stuff, uh, after cleaning it off with like degreasing wipes, I used some self-etching primer. Then I found a nice, it's sort of like flat black enamel. Try to give you guys a few different shots in the sunlight so you can see that. I did not go with bed liner for this just because the last few cans of bed liner I've used I've sort of had difficulty using it in that like sometimes it won't even spray when the can's upright you got to turn it upside down it's been a huge pain and sometimes the bed liner has like comes out in splatters and that drives me crazy so decided to switch it up for this painting project and I'm very pleased with the results how it turned out of course you know me, I love the orange, had to spice it up just a little bit, and even though it might look like or resemble the Batmobile from the 1960s, I think it turned out pretty well. Now I realize the color scheme is not for everybody, the orange is a little bit out there, but I mean, what about my truck makes you think I would want to do anything about it in a subtle manner? Exactly. Now, I was going to do a separate sort of install video, like how to install an aftermarket steel bumper, and I will include that footage toward the end of this video, but just like removing the factory bumper, that was super smooth, much easier than I thought it would be. Of course, with the aftermarket steel bumper, really the only issue is uh, probably super difficult if you want to try that yourself. At least have one other person to help you lift it up, since the bumper, this bumper specifically with the winch I have in there, and I do have a synthetic line, I want to guess maybe 130, 140, maybe even 150 pounds, which certainly you don't want to hurt your back trying to do this kind of thing yourself. But I'm going to go over a few features with the bumper and then stick around till the end of the video if you want to see that install footage. Regarding the color real quick, this is the Fairlead. It's like a, not chrome, but it's like brushed aluminum uh, that came with my winch. This will be getting changed out soon, don't worry. I know the chrome, probably like most of you, chrome is an eyesore in vehicles like this, so just wanted to go ahead and put that on there for now while I was waiting for the new part I have to arrive in the mail, which I do have now, so update video for that coming soon. But just wanted to get in here real quick because you can see I didn't really know how big the fair lead was going to be, and I initially planned to do like an orange outline on that, and you can see it doesn't really overlap perfectly. So the plan is for the overlap right there on that corner, and I guess there's a little bit underneath also, I'm going to take off this factory fair lead, go ahead and hit that up with some, uh, some of the black enamel paint, and I'm also thinking about maybe just covering this sort of surround right here in the black as well, just because with the two like openings right there where you access the winch and then the light bar surround, I think that's probably enough orange accents, and of course, how could I forget the side shot? I have a little orange triangle right here just like I did in the same style for my rear bumper, which gives a little pop, I think. Okay, so like I mentioned, this is the hybrid style bumper, and just in case you did not know what that means, the plate bumpers for the side pieces right here, I guess the edge of the mustache, if you will, on plate bumpers, that is actually a solid piece. Of course, you know, maybe with cutouts for like pod lights and stuff like that. 
but the hybrid style means that is actually open and exposed and I think and then it will have I believe this is two inch diameter steel tubing of course the hybrid style is not going to be for everybody personally I loved it I knew pretty early that I wanted to get a hybrid bumper so then after that it was just pretty much narrowing down who made them and which one I liked the best of course, the problem with this, if you do want a hybrid bumper, there's a lot of companies that don't even make them. They just make the regular steel bumpers, so it's kind of limited in what you can get. And one of the companies that used to make these, Pelfrey Built, is no longer in business. So there you can see the exposed tubing exposes a lot of the sort of inner workings of the front of your truck behind that. And one, that was actually one of the first things I noticed when installing the bumper is, since I had just gone off-roading and it was pretty muddy and sloppy, Pretty much everything behind the bumper was coated in dirt and that was a huge eyesore so I instantly had to go home and uh, sort of rinse it off even the weather wasn't that great. Even though today it's beautiful it's like 65 degrees and sunny. So I had to get all that cleaned up for you guys just to make it pop a little bit. A few more features for the bumper you can see you do have two solid recovery points up front currently have my winch hook on one side. You have two access points right here to actually get in and easily access your winch. I as far as like how everything lines up as far as the tubing goes like the dimensions you can see for that front hoop just about even with my hood line and when i'm actually sitting in there driving you can see the top of this just a little bit sticks up maybe inch inch and a half which is perfect so i can sort of use this in really tight confines on the trail sort of like a feeler to see where i'm going for the side pieces you can see right there and it's almost dead even with the top of the fender trim look at all this clearance i have right here for my front tire which if you guys didn't know i've had plenty of rubbing issues with these with the three and a half back spacing so now i'm probably going to get an alignment like get a realignment at some point so i can adjust the caster slide the tire forward maybe half inch or so just to get a little more clearance back there when it's fully stuffed Another feature as far as how this bumper mounts, and this is something I would caution you if you are shopping around for a front bumper, make sure they have some kind of frame brace, frame support that ties the bumper into your frame. You can see this one goes back almost about a foot with these super beefy quarter inch steel brackets. There is one of these on either side, of course. Uh, if you're shopping around and you see a company that they just give you the bumper and it just bolts in, where your aluminum crash bar was that might be a red flag where if you really get hit maybe even in a car accident the bumper is not going to be as strong as it is with these frame brackets so just keep that in mind when you're shopping around so that is the bumper overview in all its entirety go ahead comment below let me know what you think of the bumper if you think i made the right choice personally obviously i love it this is one of those mods that now that it's on the truck, I am sort of pissed with myself that I didn't do it sooner. It's definitely one of those things that completely transforms the look of my Tacoma. I've had a few of you even make comments like it now looks like a Mad Max vehicle, which I agree, and that is wicked. I do have a couple of Gatling guns on order from Amazon that I'm going to get mounted to the roof. So after that, I mean, I'll be unstoppable pretty much. And just in case you are wondering for the pricing on the bumper on the Brute Force website, Regular pricing before shipping is $805, and that includes everything I went over right now. Obviously not including the winch, but I think that is a pretty damn good deal. Uh, shop around, see if you can find a hybrid bumper like that, this well made, for less money. Now the only thing I am slightly bummed about with having this wicked bumper on my truck now, and this is not a bash on brute force, this would be the case with any steel high clearance front bumper you put on your truck, is I did lose my factory fog lights. Obviously you can see they are nowhere to be seen and I really love those multiple mode bulbs. Check out that video up top if you have not already. I love those bulbs, I definitely miss them. And I have had a few of you ask, uh, those bulbs are already claimed so sorry, otherwise if I still have them I would consider doing a giveaway for them but they are already at their new homes. That being said, even though you can't really retain the use of the factory fog lights just because the housing for it is literally like eight inches long. I don't know if you've ever looked at it. And even if you could like jerry rig something up here, it looked pretty stupid like mounted up there. But I did want to go ahead and show you. You can see right here through the shadow. You do have the cutout right here on either side of the middle of the bumper where you can add pods. And you can see this brace in here. It actually has three more cutouts. I'm definitely going to mount something here, and I think I can use the small cutout slot right here to mount an additional light. So the plan is to have 
uh, light right there and then something else right over here to the side. And of course, eventually get some kind of 20 inch light bar for the middle. And with the weight of the new bumper and the winch, I am excited actually that I only lost a quarter of an inch of height from both sides. So before the passenger side was at 38, I'm at 37 and three quarters now. And the driver's side was at 37 and three quarters and now I'm at 37 and a half. So more than pleased with that. I'm surprised it wasn't actually more. I know some of you might be curious what I'm gonna do, like upgrade the springs or not. I definitely have big plans for the front suspension. Let's just leave it at that. All right, everybody, that will do it for the sort of talking about the front bumper, all the features, what I think of it section of the video. Stick around if you wanna see the actual install part. So my buddy Eat Sleep Tacos was looking around under my truck just like he does every Monday at noon and he noticed here on the aluminum crash bar there are two flange nuts right here on the, this is the passenger side so towards the outside of the vehicle, same on the other side just backwards of course and there is one up here on the inside on the other side of the crash bar that's sort of a hard angle to film. But he noticed I had the factory flange bolt on this side but I was missing these two for some reason. I haven't had any kind of body work done to my truck and I'm wondering if it came like this from the factory because uh, there was no like stain ring like if you have like nuts on there for a while you know from the discoloration from mud and everything so I didn't have any of that. I'm wondering if my truck actually came from the factory like that so kind of curious about that. I was able to find these at I think it was Home Depot or Lowe's. These are just M12 by 1.25 flange nuts so got those attached. So I went ahead and got a few packs just to replace everything so it matched. So curious if any of you guys have these missing on your trucks from the factory like I suspect mine were. First step for installing an aftermarket bumper is go ahead and remove the front grill and your factory bumper obviously. Go ahead and check out the videos above for that. After you get all of that done you will have to remove your Toyota factory tow hook down here which you may or may not need PB blaster. If you have not removed these bolts in a while they can be pretty stuck. Uh, there are two 17 millimeter bolts, so go ahead and remove both of those. Okay, next step, you do need to remove the aluminum crash bar right here, which mine has mud all over it right now, so it doesn't really look like aluminum, but trust me, it is. There are three bolts on either side. You can see two right there and one right there. These bolts I actually just replaced, so I think the factory Toyota bolts are 14 millimeters. Uh, these ones that I'm using are 15, so take off the three on the passenger side and then the three on the driver's side over there. That's it, man. Game over, man. Give it a whack. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. Today, I will be installing the Smittybilt 9500 XRC with my bumper. Obviously, if you're going to plan on getting a winch, you might as well line it up with your bumper install since you have to have the bumper off to do all this. All right, getting ready to do a, sort of a dry fit, I guess, for the bumper. A few ways to do this, just to see if the winch clears, you can sort of cut this crossbar. Uh, we're actually going to take this off. It's just two 10 millimeter bolts, uh, one on either side, and it looks like two in the middle. So we're going to try it without this at first. Uh, the grill actually mounts using this hole, which obviously will go away, and the two side holes. So I'm going to try it like that and see how it goes. Okay, for this bumper uh, in specific, I'm going to take like a little pry bar and this plastic piece right here I'm just gonna knock off I'm not sure if all bumpers need this but we need access to this hole to mount the mounting plates I got a lot of cleaning to do behind there though because it's sort of ruining it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I love how you can see like all of my tire now too. Okay, the bumper's on there as you can see. We put on the three flange nuts that were holding the aluminum crash bar on. The slots on the bumper you can see right here, you do have about maybe a half inch of play so you can get the bumper, you know, up or down sort of adjust it. I just use the bottom of that lower eyelid right there to adjust and get it even on both sides. Getting ready to tighten down the three 
flange nuts that went on the aluminum crash bar now on the bumper you can see the support piece on the side goes from there to the back of the frame tightening all that down and there is a square piece that goes right in here on the bottom on both sides okay it was tight but we were able to get this piece in back here some people depending on the bumper you might have to trim this or just run it off but you can see it looks like there's like a eighth of an inch clearance on this side and the other side over there but got this piece in uh, now just putting the grill back in and get everything buttoned up all right we are getting ready to spool the winch under tension for the first time you can see i'm here at the top of the hill got the winch secured to my buddy's forerunner down there hello tyler and we've done this before with my buddy's truck but the the process is 30 seconds on 30 seconds off to let the winch cool down get everything nice and secured under there One eternity later. Okay, everybody, that will do it for this video. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Go ahead and check out my links above. Grab yourself a sticker, grab yourself a patch, shirt, sweatshirt, coffee mug, you name it. Help me fund more of these fun mods for the truck. I know you guys might think I'm running out of things to do for it, but believe me, I'm just scratching the surface. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video.